Hi folks! Today we'd like to show you how to set up ATM desk repair in a workshop. Let's presume this is the table and floor in your workshop. And this is an NCR ATM module which you'd like to diagnose with ATM desk repair. First, you'll need a normal PC with keyboard and monitor, Windows and ATM desk repair software installed. We typically take the PC core from an old NCR ATM. Next, please take the power supply and the entire cable tree from an old NCR ATM and, this is very important, install a separate power switch in front of the power supply so that you can power off for the NCR module separately while your Windows PC continues running ATM desk repair software. Next, please take a standard USB to mini USB cable and connect it to ATM desk's USB to SDC adapter. The adapter's blue light will start blinking. To diagnose an SDC module, simply connect it with a straightforward 10-pin SDC cable, which can be found in any NCR56 or 58 Personas ATM. Switch power on, diagnose the SDC module with ATM desk repair software and, once done, switch power off and remove the SDC module. To diagnose a serial module, just connect it with a simple serial cable, switch power on, diagnose the serial module with ATM desk repair software and, once done, switch power off and remove the serial module. To diagnose a USB module, connect it with a standard USB cable, switch power on, diagnose the USB module with ATM desk repair software and, once done, switch power off and remove the USB module. We recommend connecting the PC to your workshop's intranet as well as to the internet for two reasons. One, you can print ATM desk repairs test results and your network printers. You can store the results in electronic format on your network servers. And two, ATM desk repair will automatically look for updates and suggest updating your ATM desk software when a new revision is available for download. Please note that ATM Desk's USB to SDC adapter must be connected at all times, even if you are diagnosing only serial or USB modules. The adapter is your key and holds your ATM Desk repair license. Three important items to point out here. 1. If your Windows PC is an old NCR ATM PC core, the NCR SSPB controller must be removed. Two. ATM Desk Repair's USB to SDC adapter must always be connected, even when testing only serial or USB devices. And 3. Always switch the power supply off prior to connecting and disconnecting any ATM module. Well folks, that's all about how to set up ATM Desk Repair in a workshop. Wishing you lots of success with ATM Desk Diagnostic Software for NCR ATMs.